the main aim of uh, the British government uh, in uh, calling these, uh, organizing these, uh, these roundtable conferences was to discuss the, uh, the future of the India, uh, the dominant status which I I India was demanding for and uh, the, the first roundtable conference was held in 1930. It was uh, held from uh, uh, November 1930 to, uh, to January 1931. It, this uh, meeting was uh, meeting was attended by all uh, the important leaders of India except the Gandhi, uh, and uh, and government felt that there is a need that, uh, of Gandhi to attend these uh, roundtable conference if they needed any solution for uh, for for the Indian problem and uh, when uh, Jayakar and uh, Srinivasan came uh, back uh, I mean Srinivasan and uh, Jayakar they came back from the first roundtable conference they met Gandhi and uh, uh, basically they were actually uh, they were they were uh, they were contacted by the Irwin um, the governor general and it were they who convinced Gandhi to participate in the second round table conference and a pact was signed between the two wherein the uh, Irwin that means the Indian government uh, uh, Indian government uh, the British Indian government they accepted some of the demands of the uh, Gandhi the demands were that all the political prisoners were re released from the jail the, uh, uh, except those who were having the guilty of violence uh, Second, Indians were allowed uh, the manufacturing of the salt and a peaceful picketing of liquor shops and the opium was allowed and um, um, the properties of the Satyagris uh, were actually uh, promised to Gandhi that they will be returned back to them. And then Gandhiji decided to stop that civil disobedience movement and um, uh, and so not only civil disobedience movement, but also he uh, accepted to participate in the second round table conference, which uh, start we got started from uh, September 1931 to November 1931. When uh, he participated in that um, second round table conference, but the uh, his participation uh, actually. Uh, meant a lot for the British government at that time, but uh, Gandhiji uh, um, realized that uh, government is in no mood to give the uh, to fulfill the demands of the Indians. That is why uh, when he returned back in the midway, he was uh, uh, he was arrested, and in January 1930, 30, 31, 32 rather, he was imprisoned, and then in uh, he started back uh, after his return he started back in 32 in january 1932 he st he resumed back rather that civil disobedience movement and it was in august 1932 that government announced uh, this uh, communal awards wherein separate electorates were to be given to the muslims and each and every community including those who were known as the depressed classes or we can say the dalits and uh, it made uh, gandhi to go for the go for the fast unto death and uh, then uh, a pact was signed between Gandhi and B.R. Ambedkar known as the Pune Pact and it was discussed that uh, separate electorates were to be given to the depressed classes and then he, he, he stopped his uh, strike for fast unto death. And then it was in 1932 that third round table conference happened and in, in between uh, this uh, November, uh, uh, December, and uh, this marked the end of these roundtable conferences. But um, this civil disobedience movement, which had its second phase during that period from 32 to 33, it continued. And uh, in 1933, in the mid mid of 1933, uh, Gandhi realized that the um, uh, this movement, civil disobedience movement, had officially failed, and he issued uh, the orders to stop this movement and um, the movement was st stopped uh, and although Gandhi was in the jail but there were leaders who started that individual Satyagraha movement or individual civil disobedience movement. What was the what type of participation people were having in that civil disobedience movement? Civil disobedience movement saw the participation of the peasants. They participated in 
uh, no revenue campaign. Uh, the civil disobedience movement was having the participation of the students. They participated in looting of the shops and uh, uh, destroying the liquor shops as well as they, they participated in no uh, this no education campaign or we can say the uh, they boycotted the schools and colleges. And it were the it were these uh, it were these students who participated uh, in in each and every uh, every aspect of that civil disobedience movement. Now, uh, uh, not only students, not only these uh, peasants, but uh, the um, uh, women also participated. We were having the woman like Kamala Devi. She participated in it. She was leading the woman. Uh, we were having the uh, woman uh, like uh, Hansa Bai Mehta. She participated. Uh, we were having the woman like uh, uh, Avantika, Avantika, Avantika Gokhale. She also Avantika Bai Gokhale. She also participated in that movement. We were having Kostor Bagandi. She also participated in the movement. She led rather the movement at different uh, at different fronts. But this movement saw the less participation, less uh, less. Uh, participation of the Dalits, the lower uh, lower class, and that is why it was after 1933 when Gandhi uh, was uh, stopped when Gandhi st stopped this movement, civil disobedience movement. He started uh, a campaign for the upliftment of the Harijans because th these Harijans are these Dalits. They did not have participated much in that civil disobedience movement because their grievances were not met out by the International Congress. And this movement did not saw the participation of the participation of uh, the Muslims. Although there were Muslims like Khan, Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Imam Sahib, they participated in that. But it did not saw the much participation from the Muslim community. The, uh, like uh, non-cooperation movement. Non-cooperation movement saw the participation of the Muslims on uh, in a huge chunk. But uh, here the Muslims did not participate. It was mostly specific to the Hindus in this uh, this civil disobedience movement. Civil disobedience movement uh, did not saw the participation of the higher uh, business class business class, and it was because of the pressure from that higher class that uh, this civil disobedience movement was started. Now let me tell you why this civil disobedience movement failed to gain the Pur Purna Savraj. But were the reasons for that? First, the mass movements were having short span of life. They were having the short span of life and Gandhiji was knowing it that the mass movements were having short life, short span of life. That is why he, he was having a limited space for it to, uh, 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 to, to, uh, to put, a, put it in action and that is why he stopped it in 1933. Second important thing, second important reason was that uh, uh, Indians needed some concessions, they needed some uh, demands to get fulfilled and some of the demands of these uh, Indians were fulfilled through their Gandhi Irwin Pact and uh, apart from this, the, there was a pressure from, the, uh, uh, from a section uh, known, as the, uh, known as the upper class section or we can say those um, who were known as the business class, they were having a, they were having a pressure upon it and that is why they they, they, this movement was called up by the uh, this uh, Gandhi and International Congress. Now there is one more thing that is why Salt was chosen for uh, for this uh, for this movement. Uh, why is a specific um, uh, this product was chosen by Gandhi to start this to flag up this uh, uh, movement. Uh, basically, the, the, the there was actually there was there was a law which was uh, framed by the government in 1882. This was known as the Salt Act, and according to that Salt Act, uh, British government was having the monopoly uh, upon the manufacturing of the salt, and uh, in the, there was a demand from the Indian side that allow the Indians to manufacture the salt because it is a natural commodity and uh, uh, this natural commodity has been dominated by the British government. Indians should be allowed to, 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 to go for the manufacturing of the salt and that is why it has been chosen by the Gandhi because uh, he, was, he was having the notion that it is a natural commodity and belongs to the Indians and there is a, there is a law which has been framed by the government which gave them monopoly upon that manufacturing of the salt. That is why it was used as a tool to break it and then uh, all, um, after, after they used that salt law, salt, 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 salt march uh, rather, uh, this marked the beginning of the civil disobedience movement. So this is uh, the civil disobedience movement. Uh, 
some aspects of the civil disobedience movement have been discussed with you. I uh, hope you understand and if there were any queries, you can put them onto my personal uh, number and I will try to answer them. Thank you.